What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. One Piece 1098. So excited for this. Always a great time with One Piece. You just cannot get enough. If you're a One Piece fan, if you made it this far into the story, you just know it's absolute gas. We're always fiending for more as One Piece fans. You can never have enough. It's like everybody that's you know hasn't started the show they're like a thousand episodes how can i there's no way the show has got to end at some point and then you catch up and you're like i don't want it to end <laughs> i don't want it to end ever <laughs> that's basically the vibe you get uh or the feeling you get once you get to this point and i think most one piece fans would agree uh even if you have not caught up completely you might be around you know fucking halfway through the show or around dress rosa you know somewhere around there and you're like damn bro this shit just keeps you sucked in like it keeps getting better this world building the the backstory everything like oh dude it's so amazing to see last episode we got a little bit more of uh closure for robin uh, a little bit more of just of uh, what was going on at ohara that day that vega punk and dragon were there uh a the little bit of their conversation that they had and and uh how that was right before dragon pretty much started the revolutionary army and uh that alboff was actually the ones that recovered the books uh you know there was a giant there that we recognized and also the one that ordered them to do it was none other than saul himself and you know that really made robin happy i mean the smile on her face whilst the tears were coming down her face i mean dude that ah oh, dude it almost made me break again i was like dude don't do this to me bro come on but that smile you know overpowered everything like she that that was so important to her and it was so cool to see and uh knowing that the information and the books that you know oharans sacrificed themselves for to save and it ended up being worth it. Like it was a victory for them at the end of the day, just like Vegapunk said, even though they died. So amazing stuff there. And shout out to fucking Saul and, and Elboff and, and, and even Vegapunk, because he also went to Elboff and read everything and he has it all the fuck up here as well. Not only are those books nice and safe, but he has all that info up here too. So that was really cool to see. And then we pretty much for the rest of the episode, I think kind of just saw Luffy and chopper and them with vegapunk kind of goofing around vegapunk explaining what is going on with his head because his head used to be like really big and like he's known for his head being absolutely ginormous and it had gotten too big to the point where he actually decided to cut it and he has an antenna on his head now and that's you know the, the how he cut his head is like basically like that's how he made the satellites his clones uh there's six of them and and uh seven if you're including him the original but six of the satellites and all of their data and all of their, you know, brain power, their knowledge, everything is compiled into punk records above the island, which is basically his brain. And it's like an external hard drive where he can just keep on storing information and storing information and storing information. And I mean, that fruit power for him, the brain brain fruit, like, you know, that shit is crazy. Uh, how you can just automatic, like you can just keep storing information and you'll never forget it like that is wild and you can see how much he's learned through his fucking lifespan i mean he had to cut his head to make six separate versions of himself because his head was getting so big like god damn and they just keep going like they're now they can just now he, his brain can go 24 7 because of those six clones including york that take takes care of the food business and going to the bathroom business that way they can keep going 24 7 the rest of them uh oh, dude it's fucking crazy but uh, yeah, I got that all the information and, and Luffy obviously not understanding much of it. That was hilarious. And then obviously Bonnie, you know, kind of threatening him and I guess calling him out on his uh, views of like nothing but science. And like, that's exactly why you're agreed for science is, you know, you did what you did to my father and this and that and, and how she's very passionate about this and wants to, you know, is thinking about killing him. And uh, that's where she was using that saber that uh, is defective, according to Vegapunk. And, and the reason why it's defective is because it attracts a bunch of fucking bugs. And then that's where she kind of electro electrocutes herself. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> she's kind of knocked out for a little bit. I'm pretty sure Vegapunk just was talking to Jinbei like, yeah, no wonder she wants, it's no wonder that she wants to kill me. You know, it, like he at least recognizes that her feelings are justified right and then i think the all we really got at the end was luffy asking about the giant robot and then him saying like oh no this is not my invention this is a robot that attacked mary joyce 200 years ago or some shit like that and that's crazy info in itself like that thing attacked the holy land 
do tell. Inform me more. <laughs> Very good stuff all around. That's pretty much where we're at. Let's get into the episodes, get in the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell, see the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. 1098 One Piece. The eccentric dream of a genius. Mary Jow. Mary Jow. Keep on saying Mary Joyce. Mary Jo. A deadly weapon. Oh, what fucking uh, Shaka was talking about to the rest of them. How, like, there was a, there was a kingdom 900 years ago that was as advanced as Egghead, or maybe even more. This thing was made 900 years ago. <laughs> Robo no skate. <laughs> oh my god, yo, chill. I don't know. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. Even though it was built 900 years ago, it didn't attack until 200 years ago, so like 700 years after it was made. <laughs> Chopper's not fucking with it no more. He's like, yo, that thing can stay asleep. After hearing all that, I'm good. Oh, wow. The government is unaware of its existence here. Okay. What are we doing now, Luffy? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Woo. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they went through a wall. So this is a junkyard that's just completely hidden from the rest of the island of all the, like, defective equipment that he's made. That year, oh, fishmen were, were granted rights. Wow. Oh, interesting. He got inspiration to make Vega Force 1 from the Iron Giant. Wow, a power source that defies the technology of today from back then? Wow, that's fucking crazy to think about. Oh, we're inching closer and closer to some crazy shit, man. <laughs> oh shit. That's when it was first said? Damn, that feels like forever ago. In the manga. It's like, yo, take me away from here, bruh. I was like, damn, we got Egghead coming on the ship now? What the fuck? I mean, uh, Vegapunk? My dumbass. Ah, Luchi and Kaku just couldn't stay the fuck down, could you? Just couldn't take a hint from that first ass whooping, huh? No. No, you're not welcome. <laughs> Oh, they actually take one out? I didn't- it didn't look like it was doing much damage, but I guess they took one out. The fucking bird. 
Pigeon. <laughs> I just realized the pigeon has the same mask on, dude. Like, bro. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I recognize that name. <laughs> they still can't move. Didn't he quit? Nope, he didn't know. He couldn't take an ass beating and just fucking retire. He couldn't, bro. Oh, that's rare, huh? Okay. Alright then. Yo, yeah, drop the seraphim off and then get the fuck, alright? You're not welcome. Oh shit, back to the fucking revolutionaries in Kuma. Oh shit, bro. Oh my goodness. Yo, he got somewhere to be. Bro, he trying to go somewhere, dog. Damn, bro. He used his own fucking devil fruit on himself, bro. He's out. He's going somewhere, bro. Oh, dude. This, ah, dude. This, this is exciting, man. Every episode, we inch closer and closer. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, they've had ships come here? Wait, are Pythagoras and fucking Lilith and them really not aware of this? Damn, not one ship in the past two months has returned. He said, okay, fuck it. He's probably just gonna force his way through then. We going in anyway. Yep. We have no choice. We gotta bust our way through. <laughs> Chopper and Luffy, bro. <laughs> this animation is so fun. With the vibe of Egghead and the futuristic style, like... It also kind of has a retro feel to it at the same time. With the, like, game-like... Uh... Graphics. Or, like, titles, like that background, for example. Bro, this animation is so fun. Damn, impact frames just for that. Yo, this looks crazy. Nah, the animation looks so dope in Egghead, man.
Luffy's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wow. He's inching closer and closer to figuring out what that power source is for the fucking Iron Giant. Well, they took care of that ship, and it looks like they have arrived. They came on foot. The government's gonna eliminate me just like Ohara, just to let y'all know, and they're here. Yo, please save me. <laughs> Yo, Vegapunk is stupid for that. Oh, yo, no, he's such a troll for that. Uh, yeah, they're gonna take me out. Save me. <laughs> As they're just showing up at the perfect time. Oh, man, that's funny. Alrighty, guys, what another spectacular episode of One Piece. That was a fun watch as usual. Got a little bit more of the conversation between uh, Vegapunk and Luffy and them in the beginning of him basically kind of explaining the iron giant we're getting it from two different perspectives we're getting it from vegapunk in that conversation with luffy and them we were also getting a little bit more insight from shaka and the rest of luffy's crew talking about the same thing and how it attacked married wall that was 200 years before the present which was 700 years after it was created this iron giant was apparently created 900 years ago so that goes back to what shaka was already telling the rest of Luffy's crew a couple episodes ago about like, you know, what if I told you there was a kingdom that existed 900 years ago that was just as advanced or even more advanced as Egghead, you know, like an advanced civilization, so to speak. And they were like, what the fuck are you talking about? But apparently this Iron Giant is, you know, in that kingdom is connected and, and that's where the Iron Giant was made was 900 years ago. And for whatever reason attacked Marriage Wall 200 years ago, Vegapunk himself doesn't even really know. Uh, but they're all learning this at the same time and, and kind of reacting to this information like this is crazy So you're telling me this giant fucking thing climbed up the red line and shock is just like I guess so I mean, I, I, I guess it seems possible and so We got that pretty early on in the episode and then we see Luchi and Kaku, you know CP0 trying to make their way into the island and You know, they are denied obviously Shaka, you know tells Pythagoras what to say and it's just like, yeah, you know, just tell S Bear to, you know, you know, just order him to come to us. You know, he can, you know, you can return him just like that, and then you can be on your way. You know, you don't need to come into the island and that, blah, blah, blah. And so Lucius is thinking, like, okay, are they starting to catch on already? And so eventually the you know conversation, you know, windows down to him just saying, Okay, fine, whatever. Hangs up. But he's like, all right, we have no choice. So they're going to force their way in, in, in anyway, and as, as we see, that's probably who's landing and causing that explosion on the island not too far from Luffy and them, as Vegapunk was literally just telling them, like, yeah, the government's after me, and they're going to do the same thing to me that they just did to Ohara, you know, fucking 20 years ago. Save me. <laughs> so that, cause this is why, like, early on in the episode, he, you know, said, like, yo, can you take me away from Egghead type shit? And it's like, what the fuck? Like, Vegapunk wants to come onto our ship? and leave egghead like that's crazy like that's like i mean this is pretty pretty early on in the arc and it's like what the fuck the smartest man alive wants to come on our ship that's insane but this is the reason why is because the government is going to handle him uh sooner or later which is right now pretty much or as soon as possible uh the same as they did ohara because you know, I guess they started to finally realize like he, he knows too much or they've known that he's known too much and they just haven't done anything because they've been using his technology. And they're at to a point now where they feel like they've gotten enough of his technology. They're tired of him spending funds and this and that, blah, blah, blah. So they're like, all right, fuck it. It's time to take out Vegapunk. We can't leave him, can't leave him alive, obviously. You know, we can't just, you know, even if we're done using him or done using his technology or no need for any more of his creations under the government, we can't just let him go on his merry way. We're gonna kill him, you know, because that's how the government does th does things. You know what I'm saying? They're fucking corrupt as shit. So, getting that early on in the episode, it's like, oh shit, he wants to come with us. And then all the way to the end, it's like, oh fuck, they're already here. And <laughs> Vegapunk just throws this into their lap, like, save me. Fucking hilarious. I think that's pretty much all we got with like what's going on in Egghead. And then obviously Vegapunk, some of his own personal go goals 
and uh, he uh, mentioned that he's inching closer and closer to figuring out what this you know how to harness actual just like pure energy which is all around us right but how to actually harness it is the the real question and what he's trying to figure out and through that as he's been trying to figure that out for years or you know however long he's been inching closer to figuring out the power source of this iron giant which you know that's one of the things that was mentioned early on by shaka to uh sanji and the rest of them was that the power source the power of this robot that's the one that's like the one thing i couldn't replicate that's the one thing i couldn't figure out or have yet to figure out is the power source which is crazy to think about that there's a power source that is you know unfathomable to us in the present day right now but somehow this was created and powered up 900 years ago and was also activated or attacked the holy land 200 years ago it's like what's what is the power source like that is that's like a huge mystery and so that's one thing that vegapunk's really trying to figure out and it's just very intriguing so that's pretty much what we got with Egghead and what's, you know, about to happen. Obviously, you know, it seems Lucci and them have finally fucking arrived on the island. And it looks like we might have a round two. And I am going to be honest, I don't know if you guys really wanted to come to this island at this moment. Like, you're going to run into somebody that you ran into a long time ago and got your ass whooped. And you may, I mean, there's definitely been some time. So, like, you know, Luffy and them have gotten a lot stronger. You've already gotten your ass whooped once, Lucci and Kaku. Like, who's to say you're not going to get your ass whooped again? Like, come on. I mean, sure, there was time for them to get stronger too, but yo, you're fucking with an emperor now, an emperor's crew, okay? So, I'm just saying. And then the only other thing we got, we saw fucking Kuma. He was acting weird at the Revolutionaries, uh, one of their hideouts at Yvonne's Island, and he was trying to escape. Like he was trying, like he, it seemed like he had somewhere to fucking be. Like he was trying his damnedest to get out of these wires and stuff that were repairing him and, and healing him or whatever and he wasn't even at 100 percent. and he was trying to get out and he finally gets free from them and he just keeps running to the edge of the island and then finally uses his power on himself and sends sends himself somewhere like he seemed like he was really dire and urgent to get wherever he's trying to get to so that was a, one little sneak peek on what we saw there with the revolutionaries and kuma who knows where he's trying to go but it seems like he really needs to fucking get there. I mean, he was trying his hardest to get the fuck away and leave. So can't wait to get more info on that and see that in the animation. This this is fucking heating up, baby. I'm telling you, every week we're getting closer and closer and just it, it just more into the mix. This shit is insane. So yeah, I think that leaves it for One Piece, another amazing episode. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please like down below. Comment, subscribe for new, hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.